1876, now that was the centennial year uh, for the country, and uh, there were quite a few celebrations around the country uh, celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence, but it was also an election year. The outgoing president was a two-termer, uh, Ulysses S. Grant, who uh, some wanted him to run for a third term, but Grant did not want to at the time. And there was nothing in the Constitution that said that you could not run for a third term, but precedent had been established by George Washington that after two terms, uh, the right thing to do is to step aside and uh, let somebody else be president. So in 1876, the election was wide open and it came down to two men, Samuel Tilden from New York and Rutherford B. Hayes from Ohio. When the election results were counted, it looked like Tilden was the winner. Uh, however, there was one problem. He was one electoral vote shy of the needed electoral votes to win. Just one electoral vote. He had won the popular vote by 250, 000, over 250,000 votes, but he did not have that one electoral vote. There were questions still surrounding electoral results in Florida, South Carolina, and Louisiana. Both sides, the Republicans and the Democrats, were saying that election fraud had been committed. The Republicans saying the Democrats committed fraud, the Democrats saying the Republicans committed fraud in those states, and they were contesting the results in those three states. Congress decided to put it in the hands of a special commission. And this commission would be made up of 15 people. There would be seven Democrats, seven Republicans, and one independent. And it was to be made up of members of Congress, senators, and even a few justices from the Supreme Court. Eventually what happens, that they decide to give the election to Hayes. They decide that those disputed electoral votes in those states should go to Hayes. Of course, the Democrats are outraged by this. Their candidate, they feel, is being uh, taken out of an election that they feel he won by the popular vote and he only came one vote short of the electoral vote. The Democrats are actually, the Southerners are actually talking about seceding again. Is this another civil war where we just got done in 1865 and could we be thrown back into civil war again? So there is a deal made by this commission to keep both sides happy. And the deal is this, Hayes will win the election with the understanding that reconstruction in the South will end. And reconstruction was the rebuilding of the South after the Civil War, but it was also the oversight of the federal government in the South on the issue of civil rights. And are African Americans going to be given the same rights as other free people were? Now that the Civil War had ended, but there were still plenty of people down South who were not interested in allowing uh, Southern Blacks to have the same rights as the white voters. Under Ulysses S. Grant, the military had actually moved in to the Southern states and they were overseeing elections and they were overseeing the enforcement of certain civil rights laws. In fact, Ulysses S. Grant got a law passed to use them for the military to be used against the, the KKK, which had been born in the post-Civil War era they had kind of died out because of the military being in the South. Now, the deal that was made was that the military would withdraw, the federal government would leave civil rights to the states to decide. And if you were an African American living down South, basically you were being told that you were pretty much on your own now. Don't expect federal support coming anytime soon. The, the North, is pretty much done with dealing with reconstruction. The federal government is done with dealing with reconstruction. And this 1876 election and its outcome begins the era of Jim Crow in the South because the Southern states decide to 
to deal with civil rights the way they see fit. They are going to make loads of restrictions on African Americans living down south, which is going to last for several decades. But historians call this the second corrupt bargain, the first being the 1824 election. This was definitely, you know, for, for some, for many, was uh, an election that would have far-reaching consequences.